Alrighty, so today what we are going to do is we are going to do a versus video between the Makita half-inch uh, brushless hammer drill versus the Hilti half-inch brushless hammer drill. Now, both of these uh, brands have a 4 amp hour battery, so for the Makita we'll be using the 4 amp hour battery and for the Hilti we'll be using a 4 amp hour battery, so that when it comes to the batteries, this is even. The Makita is a powerful hammer drill, so I'm excited to do this. Now, I went to Home Depot today, and I actually was recognized by a couple of guys, and uh, we talked to about tools for a little bit, you know, and they said they watched my channel, which I majorly appreciate them, you know, like just coming up to me and saying hi, and, it, you know, it was awesome. It just, it, motiv it motivated me more to do these videos, so that, that's what I love. So hopefully I see them again, and uh, I probably will, since they live in my area, so... This is gonna be a good one. I can't wait for this video. It's gonna be so awesome. Uh, this video is gonna be about wood with the four amp hour uh, battery. We will do different batteries with different materials uh, in a future video. For the Makita, this is model number XPH07. It is uh, two speed settings, uh, 21 uh, point clutch uh, on speed one. This goes to 0 to 550 RPM, and on speed 2, 0 to 2100 RPM. I do not know what the torque is. We'll put the tor I'll put the torque in right now. We are not using the hammer feature, so we're not going to go through the hammer feature settings. Two LED lights on the bottom, half-inch metal chuck, which I like Makita's uh, chuck. And it does have a fuel gauge on the tool, and it has a fuel gauge on the battery, which is actually, that's a good feature to have. I like that. So, we are going to see how this does. And for the Hilti, this is model number SF6HA22. It is a half-inch uh, metal chuck. Two LED lights on the base pointing upward, and this uh, does have a special cooling uh, feature for the battery because the battery is actually a separate unit from the inside so the board for the battery is in the base which i like this cooling feature it helps keep your battery cooler while it's running at so this is a 700 i already know this is a 708 inch pound of torque drill two speed settings first speed is zero to 490 and on speed two zero to 2000 so that is approximately 100 less than the Makita but this is a 21.6 volt system and this is an 18 volt system so that's the one advantage that the Hilti has is because it's a 22 point uh, it's a 22 volt system but under a load it is 21.6 for a power battery uh, no other options on the ba uh, on the drill to see what the charge is you just push in the e the eject buttons to find out what the charge is. So, this is gonna be a good one. And remember, when you work, wear uh, gloves and safety glasses. All right, so, I wanna see what the Makita does. So we are gonna do the Makita first. The battery is full. We are gonna start off uh, with the one inch self-driving spade bit by Bosch. All right, so ready, go. We're going to do one more hole. So ready? Go. That is quiet. Time. That is one quiet motor. So it is Hilti's turn. We got it on speed two. Come on. Battery is full. So ready? Go. It's through. It got caught on the broken pieces underneath. Ready, go. Yeah, it's the the pieces underneath are breaking, so it's 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 stopping it. All righty. So next, we are going to do the three quarter inch drill bit. Now this one is brand new. We are, we are gonna do a test, one test with each. Hopefully, uh, I'm wondering if it just needs to be sharpened, even though it's brand new, but we'll see. 
Go. Go. So, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go to Home Depot. I'm going to grab the Milwaukee three-quarter inch drill bit, and let's see if we can have better luck. So, I'm going to, I'll be right back. All right, let's put a blade on. All right, so let's cut this really quick. All right, so I decided to go with a fresh slate right here. We're good. It started to look like a cluster, and I don't like that. All right, so we're gonna use the, the new Milwaukee three-quarter inch uh, drill bit. See how this does. All right, so we're gonna do one hole, and then we're gonna switch over to the Hilti, then do two holes, and then see who the winner is. All right, so ready, go. All right, so that is... Makita, it is Hilti's turn. All right, so ready, go. Time. Oh, that went through like nothing. All right, so now for the Makita. Uh, I'm hoping the Makita wins, by the way. I love this hammer drill. All right, so we're going to do two holes in a row. And hopefully I can do it flawlessly. All right, so ready, go. All right, time for Hilties to do two in a row. Ready, go. I should have pulled it out for that one. All right, we are gonna use the Milwaukee uh, three inch hole dozer. So ready, go. That got a lot of grip. Yeah. Time for the Hilti. All right, so the battery is full. Uh, speed two, it's on drill. So, ready, go. Both of these got gripped that time. Pry that out. That is time. I do not know what the results are until I edit the video. There we go. I love this drill. This drill's awesome. Alrighty, so we're just gonna do two timber locks each. Alright, so ready, go. Time. Next is the Hilti, ready, go. Time. Makita is next. All right, so ready, go. Time. And last one. Ready, go. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, each of these is gonna take out two, and then that's gonna be the file of the time for this. Ready, go. All right. Time. Hilti is next. Ready, go. All right. Time. Not too shabby at all. 
Alrighty, so for this test, we will be needing the uh, the handles. Makita does have a beefy handle, but I, I do think the stem is a bit too long. See, that's that's a perfect size. We are gonna do the half inch self-driving spade bit. Then we are gonna do the one inch or one and a quarter inch uh, speed bore. I think this is one and a quarter. I might be wrong. So first we are gonna do Makita. Now I did test this in a previous video. This did a fantastic job. Battery is still full. We're gonna do speed one first. That clears everything. It's locked. All right, so ready, go. Time. Yep. Awesome. Take it out. Battery is full still. Speed one. It's on drill. All right, so ready. Go. Time. Definitely time. All right, let's take it out. Go. Oh, you didn't do that last time. Oh, you stopped too, holy cow. Both of them stopped on this piece of wood. Oh, that's why. And do this side, because as you see, yeah, that's what it did for both of them. That's what it did for both. Ready, go. Told you. Slowly take it out. Well, battery says it's dead. All right, so. Maybe if I just take it out. So this is the first time this happened. I actually had a battery die during the uh, test video. So I gotta get a new battery. I'm guessing drilling a couple of these holes drained this battery. I got a fresh one on there, battery is full. All right, so ready, go. Much better, much better. Switch this battery, still says it's full. Speed two, it's on drill. All right, so ready, go. Time. Fantastic. And for the last test, we are gonna do one, ho one hole on speed two. Let's see if this is powerful enough to do so. Battery is full, it's on drill. All right, so ready, go. Oh. You. All right, yep. All right, so ready, go. And it cut off. Lights are blinking. That's as far as it got on speed two. We are gonna put it on speed one and see which one's victorious. Because both of them, I'm not gonna give them any more attempts. Both of them failed to drive it in all the way. So, speed one. Let's see which one wins. Ready, go.
slowly take it out. Ready, go. Time. And a quick temperature reading. 22 is the highest point on the Hilti. Wow. Not that much of a difference. 87 on the Makita. So both of these actually did a phenomenal job. I was disappointed that both of them failed to drive in the speed bore, but I think uh, I think it just might be this wood, so I do not know, but they both failed at it. Uh, I do not know what the results are uh, until I edit the video, so the results are there. That's pretty much it. I just wanted to do this little versus video and see how these two would perform. This is not the only test we are going to do. We are going to do bigger batteries with different material. So please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.